Drinking coffee or tea on an empty stomach is a common practice for many people. Let's explore the potential effects of consuming these beverages without having any food. First, digestive issues. Some believe that coffee's bitterness can stimulate the production of stomach acid, potentially irritating the stomach lining and causing issues like heartburn, ulcers, and indigestion. However, research fails to find a strong link between coffee and digestive troubles, regardless of whether it's consumed on an empty stomach one. While a small proportion of people may be sensitive to coffee and experience symptoms like heartburn or indigestion, the frequency and severity of these symptoms remain constant regardless of when they drink coffee one. Summary, for most people, drinking coffee on an empty stomach doesn't cause digestive problems. Stress hormone levels, cortisol, a stress hormone, naturally peaks around the time you wake up and declines over the day. Coffee stimulates cortisol production, leading some to believe that drinking it first thing in the morning when cortisol levels are already high could be dangerous. However, regular coffee drinkers may have a lower cortisol response. And there's little evidence to suggest that drinking coffee on a full stomach reduces this effect one. Summary, while there's some concern about cortisol levels, it's unlikely that drinking coffee on an empty stomach significantly impacts them. Rapid absorption of caffeine. When you consume coffee or any caffeinated beverage on an empty stomach, your body absorbs caffeine faster. This rapid absorption can intensify caffeine's effects potentially making you feel anxious, jittery, or irritable. Additionally, caffeine can raise blood pressure and cause heart palpitations feeling like your heart is beating too fast or skipping beats too. Summary, be mindful of how your body responds to caffeine especially when consumed without food. Nutrient absorption interference. Coffee and tea contain compounds that can interfere with the absorption of certain nutrients. Iron. Both coffee and tea contain tannins, which can bind to iron and reduce its absorption. If you rely on plant-based sources of iron non-heme iron, consuming coffee or tea with meals might hinder iron absorption. However, this effect is more pronounced with tea than coffee. Calcium. Tea especially black tea contains oxalates, which can inhibit calcium absorption. If you're trying to get enough calcium, Consider avoiding tea around mealtime or pairing it with foods rich in calcium. Remember that individual responses can vary, and some people may experience discomfort or adverse effects when consuming coffee or tea on an empty stomach. Moderation and paying attention to your body's signals are key. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health-related content. Stay healthy and keep sipping responsibly.